First in tonight's news for your health, powered by HealthKey.com. The risks that come along with smoking are something we are all aware of. But what you may not know is that changing the morning routine could be beneficial to a smoker's health. Rise and shine or rise and light. Smokers may not be aware the time they light up could actually be affecting their health. Dr. Joshua Muscat, a professor of public health sciences at the Penn State College of Medicine, conducted a study to determine whether the amount of time smokers wait before lighting up in the morning affects the amount of continine in a bloodstream. That's a byproduct of nicotine. What these researchers found may have smokers thinking about starting the coffee before taking a drag. What we found that seemed to be a very important factor in predicting blood levels of nicotine is uh, how quickly people smoke cigarettes after they woke up in the morning. So people who tended to smoke immediately, let's say within 5 to 15 minutes, tend to have much higher levels of uh, nicotine metabolites than smokers who waited for a longer period before lighting up their first cigarette. And how could the aspect of time affect smokers? They may be uh, more addicted, they may have more cravings, and so when they smoke cigarettes, they may be taking more puffs per cigarette, they may be inhaling it more deeply into their lungs. So we think that the way people are smoking is an important factor in determining how much nicotine they're actually being exposed to. While this is a fairly new study, smokers we talked to had already caught on to starting their day with something other than a cigarette. I usually wait till about an hour after I wake up. Someone told me if you wait at least 15 minutes, it lessens the chance for getting any heart disease and things like that. And as the study continues at Penn State College of Medicine, one thing is for sure. A number of the folks who have difficulty quitting are those who have uh, the first cigarette as their feet hit the floor. Well, the results in this behavioral study could help smokers in the fight to quit, along with decreasing their chances of getting lung cancer. Well, there may